Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you a scene that I created to give you a couple of more options that are now available as part of the XR Direct Interactor. In the previous video I showed you how to use this Direct Interactor by creating an interactor on the right hand controller. So basically this component has a XR controller which you can activate by using the grip and then also has a sphere collider and also an XR Direct Interactor. So one of the things that we can now do with the latest version of the XR toolkit which I'm using and let me go ahead and show you what version that is so that you guys know. So if I go into the package manager, I installed version 0.9.3 preview, that's the latest version. Make sure that you have that, otherwise you're not going to be able to see the select action trigger, which it used to be just toggle, now Unity added a couple more options. One of them is going to be a state, the other one is a state change toggle sticky. I also want to walk you through a starting selected interactable. This one is going to allow us to basically have an object already pre-selected. I also want to show you how to select a different interaction layer mask so that we can only pick up a specific item. So what I'm going to do here is, is basically going to clone this and I'm going to put it right basically right behind us and I'm also going to be cloning the gun. So the way that this is going to work, I don't want to allow the user to select the gun that is on the, on the right hand side. I only want you to be able to select this one that is right here. And to do that, let me just go ahead and delete this. And to do that, we're going to be selecting a specific layers, right? So we need to create a new layer. I'm going to add a new layer. This one is going to be the weapon layer. And this one is not going to have the layer, so we're not going to be able to select it. This one will have the layer, so we're going to be able to select it. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm also going to be adding another object that is going to be basically selected automatically. So we're going to just clone the airplane for that. And I'm going to put it perhaps right here. We can just rotate it so it looks, looks cooler. And then let me just make sure undo there. Perfect. And I should only have one gun here. So for this layer, I'm going to be doing the weapon. And I'm going to say yes, change the children. This one is going to have the default layer. This one is going to have the default layer. And this one also is going to have the default layer. So the only one that I'm going to be able to pick up is going to be this one. This one is going to get attached automatically. So we could probably just set it to weapon just so that we know that. So just know that the ones on the left side are going to be, we're going to be able to pick them up with the right controller, which is the one that has the direct interactor. And then the other one is going to, the other ones are going to be able to be selected with the left controller because I haven't changed how that one works. So on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be changing the interaction layer mask. We're going to be just selecting, I'm going to set it to nothing first and then change it to weapon. I'm also going to be selecting the first item that gets start basically selected. So if you look in here, Unity has this option called starting selected interactable. So I'm going to go ahead and look for the plane, which should be on the very bottom. And that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and move it up. That way we know, that way I can select it easily and I'm going to just select my right hand controller and then just drag and drop the plane to the starting selected interactable. The other thing that I want to do is on the, on the previous videos I show you that you could basically, you know, hold the, pick up one of these items with your hand and then basically release it by releasing the grip button. But what if you wanted to, you know, have it toggle? So meaning that as soon as I grab it, the toggle option is going to set to true. And I'm going to be able to move around. I don't have to hold the grip button until I basically press it. That's when the, the items are going to be released. So I'm going to actually just change this to that because it's going to, it's going to work better. And the starting selecting interactable will be instantly deselected unless interactable toggle. So, okay, let's go ahead and just change it to sticky. And I think everything else, and that's fine. This is just saying that we have this pre-selected item already and that, you know, it, it, it should be okay. So, this one is going to have the weapon. This one is also going to have the weapon layer. Now, if we go back into our right hand controller, we just make sure that we have only that layer selector, which is the one that we have. So we change a couple of things. We change the layer that we're using for the XR Direct Interactor. We also change the starting object that is going to be selected on this interactor. And I also change the selection action to a sticky. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on this one. I don't think this one has a sticky option, or actually it does, the XR Ray Interactor. So we can just change that one to sticky as well so that everything behaves the same way. 
Uh, in fact, I'm also going to change this one to weapon as well, so just to make sure everything is consistent. Now what I'm going to do is, on all of these objects, let's go ahead and select them all. And I don't think I can select multiple objects, and I knew that was going to be the case, so let's move them all the way up. And what I'm going to do here on the interaction layer mask, we're going to set them to nothing. And then I'm going to go ahead and set it to weapon. I'm going to do the same thing on this one, and then set it to weapon. Also on this one, set it to nothing. And that way we can tell the system what, you know, what layers we're going to be interacting with. And then this one is also going to be set to the weapon. And that's honestly everything that we need to do there. So the next thing that I'm going to do is just go ahead and build it, and I'll show you how it looks. All right, guys, so this is running just fine. I'm just going to go ahead and sit down and look at how I can select this with the right hand. And I'm not letting go of the button, so as soon as I hold the button, it's going to fall. I can select it again. Let's go ahead and try the one on the left. It's also a toggle, so I can, you know, basically haven't pressed the grid button just yet. I'm gonna press it, it's gonna fall. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right hand and left hand, and also on this one, I'm gonna let it fall. And then I can only select the objects that are have weapon, and I set everything to weapon, so I should be able to select basically everything. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time, and if you have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, on the XR Interaction Toolkit, please let me know. Also be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting early access source code and also early access to videos. Thank you guys.